what's up what's good what's going on family we are getting a late start to the day so let's jump in and see what energy is on offer what, what is sagittarius facing in this beautiful day all right spirit let's see I'm gonna do this daily increase just a little bit different try to make it more relatable um for you all let's see spirit what is the overall like what's going on here at the start of the day for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective. Guys, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that Ninth House. Very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for your Ninth House. Ooh. But even with that being said, guys, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? So what's coming out for the overall energy of the day? Like, what's, what's going on? is rest and what is anchoring this is happiness and growth and then we have space so i feel like that you're actually being granted some space in order to like so if you if you recognize that things are kind of like slow motion things are just kind of moving slow it is giving you the space in order for you to nurture something that actually makes you happy without being overwhelmed by fears and anxiety so if you see that fears and anxiety are creeping up to the surface um uh, show gratitude for those um uh, the awareness of that but don't sit and marinate in that okay thank that thought and move on to the next one so let's see spirit what is like what's what is the what's what's actively going on like what energy what situation is sagittarius facing what's the energy that sagittarius is facing at the start whenever they find this reading destiny destiny what's meant to like what you meeting everything that is happening right now is meant to be happening messages look at the way that this matches and look so i'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all i started to put these earrings on um I, I wanted these earrings i was gonna put these on but my daughter said no these and then i put them on and i was like nah i'm not really feeling all of that it's just but there's something about this color here um, today it's kind of like this tillish green color so we could be um, needing to focus more on being more optimistic in order to speak from a more optimistic place let's see what's going on here All right, what is the situation here, Spirit? What is the situation here? What is the what are the challenges inside of the situation here? And then how what is the advice to navigate this for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? So we have the Six of Pentacles is what's going on. The world card is the challenge and the advice to navigate this situa situation here is the six of wands. 66 could be significant. The world card is here. Um, where was Saturn placed in the year of 66? Mm -hmm. oh damn you gonna make me look at all of that you won't just tell me like so what what month are we in we're in august let's see where it was at in august of 66 
why is it not showing me okay so it's not showing me and I don't want to spend too much time here because mm -mm. so huh that may be a significant message there in that energy so the six of wands is the best way to navigate this here situation of which is the six of pentacles something is I'm getting equal reciprocity here. The chariot. Yeah, this is balancing a situation out and moving forward. This could be with the Cancer lover. Doesn't necessarily have to be. This could be Cancer Gemini energy, okay? Um, and that Cancer Gemini energy does emit the Queen of Cups energy. And that is that nurturing, loving kindness kind gentle energy okay um that is a need to really make sure that you are addressing emotional instabilities because the thing about the queen of cups is she her her like the thing that makes her so special is that she understands that she is forever immersed inside of the emotions but yet she learns how to remain level-headed while being in the midst of the emotions okay so it's she doesn't deny herself the emotions so i with the six with this uh the the chariot and the lover's card coming out here to clarify the situation for the six of pentacles i do feel like that there could someone could have a possible choice between a cancer and a gemini doesn't necessarily have to be so but it can be for some of you all but i feel like that the main message here is it's time to rest it's time to bring yourself into a place of stillness and to really be honest with yourself about your happiness and give it your happiness the space that it needs to grow and blossom because I do feel like that there are creations and there are ideas that are trying to come to life in that space. All right, all right, let's jump back in here. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. I definitely feel like that you have um, the situation here is how to balance out a situation that you've invested in, okay? The challenge is the world card. Something is left undone, okay? Um, there's a lack of closure to something. But the way to navigate this challenge is to take a victorious mindset and know that you are like this, like you get to claim victory here, like you're crossing the finish line here. Like you, it, the challenges, it may feel incomplete. It may feel like you didn't see it all the way through, but you are actually crossing the finish line. We have the King of Swords here and the Hierophant and then the Emperor here. So the challenge is, is there could be some unfinished business with an Aquarius Capricorn um, head of household or some sort of Aquarius. It could be some sort of unfinished business within a legal system, like because the the king, especially this king of swords, it's like they're in a courthouse. So there could be some sort of court case. And then the Hierophant is an institution. So there could be that. Or it just could be like an Aquarius Capricorn energy. That is the head of household. There's unfinished business there. So this could be someone's. This is a, a maybe like parental figure. Queen of Blades. Wow. So there could be some sort of divorce that is not finalized. The advice to navigate this is to understand that you got some sort of leg up, like victory is already claimed. You're crossing some sort of finish line here. Wow, guys. The Page of Cups in the Page of Swords, there's, communi there's loving communication coming in here. Possibly an apology. Um, 
an, 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 an open-ended apology. Someone is making an apology and it's almost like wanting to clear the slate. And it's like whatever direction you choose to take this, they're open to it. Um, but here's what I see. The emperor, the emperor fell out when I was clarifying the world card, but I had already made it clear that I was pulling cards from the top because these cards sometimes have a hard time flipping out. So if any flippers were to come out, I was just going to address them. The emperor came out to clarify the challenge. To clarify the advice is the imp like what flew out was the empress with the two of cups. This person is definitely like this person is making you the offer. Like this is like whatever this is, whether this is a job, whether this is a relationship, what whatever this is, this is like getting together. This is partnering up. Um, this is you getting like this is you being the top pick here. However, I do feel like that there are some unfinished symphonies that have to be closed out. What's going on inside of this world card in the challenging pos position spirit? What's going on inside of the world, the King of Swords and the Hierophant? What's going on here? The girl with the snake. Yeah. Um, be there are uh, Because there are cycles that aren't closed out, there are a need to establish boundaries here. Someone could even possibly, um, like, someone here could, like, be holding on to a toxic situation and not really willing to close it out or not really there's something that is like there's some resistance to closing something out out of fear of abandonment some sort of codependencies so this person could be reliant on that so there is a need to really be aware that there is some sort of unfinished cycle they, there is a separation there but there's there's a separation there is a breakup there um but I don't think that things are finished there. I don't think there's an unlatching completed there. Um, I do feel like that this person is like this person is thinking about you. What else can you tell me about this? Um, what's going on inside of this unfinished cycle? What's going on inside of this unfinished cycle here, Spirit? Yeah, see, not today. And this says boundaries hurt. So there's really a need to establish clear boundaries because there is a cycle that is not closed out and someone is avoiding even dealing with it, addressing it, looking at it. And this has to be addressed, okay? For some of you all, this could be some sort of actual the uh, divorce. As the King of Swords is came out, the Queen of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so there could be an actual divorce that needs to take place here, um, or there just has to be a like some sort of clear understanding of separation that needs to take place here. And I don't necessarily think that it has. So, what is the like? This is. Okay, so this is coming through as a daily increase. Okay. Um, what is the, or what you need to know right now, that's for sure. Where is this situation headed here? Where is this headed for Sagittarius spirit? In the next 24 to 48 hours, where is this situation here headed for Sag? The three of wands. So I don't, I do feel like that within the next 24 to 48 hours, there is some sort of waiting period. I do feel like that something is loading the moon card. I definitely feel like that there are things are loading. Yeah, the ace of swords. I do feel like that there are things loading. I feel like that um, what's loading is I do feel like that there's going to be some sort of clarity, truth spoken as it pertains to some sort of conf conflict. Um, I feel like that there is an um, unforeseen resolution to the conflict that is possible here. And I feel like that someone like someone is possibly holding back until they see until they have a clear vision, possibly. What is the three of wands? What's loading here, spirit?
I want you to, I do feel like that in the next three days, I do feel like that there's an energy of kind of like reflecting on, I, I, somebody's going to be reflecting. Okay, so I, I feel like in the next 24 to 48 hours, I don't see this person approaching you, but I do feel like that something is loading. Yeah, the Six of Swords to the Page of Pentacles. I do feel like that there's an offer that is loading, but this person does understand that your guards are up. And I will tell you, your guards are up. So right now, if things are kind of quiet, right as between you and this energy, this is actually the time for you. To, this is actually a time of rest for you, like embrace this rest. Because something here, like this is actually the space and the opportunity for you to grow your happiness so that you can understand what you're actually bringing to what bringing to the table for whatever this is bringing to the table. When we're bringing something to a table, it is understanding like so when your people is this unclear about what to do um like what kind of date you're looking for what kind of activity like you gotta know like can you bring an idea to the table that not just interest you but interest them as well like are you well versed in what interests you or do you expect this person to come up with the ideas for everything because that becomes overwhelming at times as well yes we understand that you want the man to plan the date and all of that but are you ready to like do you know what you like so that you can inform you know what i'm saying you have to be willing to bring something to the table and you have to know what you're bringing to the table and so i do feel like that here in the next 24 to 48 hours there's almost this energy of having to get serious about what it is that you're bringing to the table and also understanding where someone may or may not be willing to face the reality of a cycle that's not closed out yet Yeah, there's a, oof. there's a, there's a, there's a, um, there's an offer coming in here. This is a flat out offer. Give me just one second, guys. All right, let's roll the dice since I definitely feel like that we're picking up heavy on a person. Um, the, the major arcana that's on the board is Cancer, Gemini, Taurus. Libra, Taurus, um, Aries, Virgo is who came to the board. Let's see. Oh, and then we also have the world card, which is the fixed signs. It is Saturnian energy, which is Capricorn. The fixed signs is Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Take that as it resonates. Um, we have Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Scorpio and Aquarius are that fixed sign energy. Let's see. What is, for those that are relating to this as it pertains to love, what is the T? Thank you. Open chapter. Can't make this shit up. Open chapter. Things are not, can't, like, this ain't. There's an offer, like there's a revisiting that's going to happen here. It says there are still pages to write, so make them great. We, have, we do have back and forth um, here at the bottom of the deck, but to anchor back and forth, we do have exploring. So this is telling me that this there's a need for a healthy conversation where there is room to go back and forth with each other in a non-argumentative, non-combative way. I feel like that an opportunity to go back and forth with one another will actually help the two of you all explore and understand where it is that what it is that you're looking for okay but back and forth says changing your mind or being confused emotionally so i definitely do feel like that there is this um i want this no i don't i want this no i don't energy and this has to be cleared up cleaned up okay and then so we have exploring it says testing the waters are still looking for the right one take that as it resonates at the bottom at the top of the deck we have divine match see i feel like that there's this energy of needing to bring something together here alchemize something figure out the perfect combination close this message out for my lovely sagittarian ninth house collective all over this 
It is literally all over this reading that whatever this is ain't done. Someone from your past is or will be returning into your life soon. Take a leap of faith. Only when you are willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards. Magnetic, ooh, magnetic connection and twin flame. This is definitely a strong ass connection that's coming back around. But you can't, like, there's a need to take rest and not be so anxious about the fact that it's not here for you right now because there is some like there's it's not like you're gonna have to brave through a storm or two with this person here because there is something that there is a cycle that is not fully closed out that um is either going to be closing out before the two of you all can come into some sort of union or it is going to close out in the process of you two coming into union it just it depends on what timeline you're on but that is something that you have to gear up to prepare for and if you can strengthen and find and, and find and grow and find purpose in your own happiness this situation won't weigh you down when the storm hits your root you won't be a tree that is uprooted in the midst of that storm you'll be able to stand strong Anything else to add to this spirit? Anything else? Worth the effort. It's worth the effort. It's worth the effort. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth. Knowing your dedication will lead to rewarding discoveries. Getting advice. So someone that is feeling like that this is your message. You may need a personal reading in order just to make like to get the, de the details may be a little different for you. I do want to let you all know that we do have quite a bit of coupon codes at this time. We have Breakthrough 31. Um, and I do believe that that's like a, a you get a Zoom. You purchase a Zoom and then you get a, for a free message from Spirit. We also have Golden 31. And that gets you, I think, 31% off of all of the messages from Spirit. Okay. So... Check that out if you feel like that this is a personal and you're wanting to know what needs to be closed out in order for this to really have a solid foundation to settle on. Here at the top of the deck, we have Eclipse of Concealment. It says, navigate through the Eclipse of Concealment, understanding that cyclo, cyclo, nat the cyclo nature of hidden phases and awaiting revelation. So things are intentionally hid from you right now. And when they come to light, it's not to rock your world, but it's because you're ready to face it at that moment. And so if you look at it of as, as if it's like how after all of this time you look at it like that, then I feel like that you, you, you rob yourself of the opportunity to grow. Okay. Yes, there's something that is cutting edge. Something will be done different and you can't navigate that. Ooh. See there like I'm telling you I feel like that there's some sort of storm that you that you will endure here, which is why spirit is like saying take rest in this space that you have now because once you Enter, like once you take this love offer, I do feel like that there will be some sort of storm that you have to endure with this person. And if you don't strengthen your roots now, then you don't stand a chance in hell for that storm. I just want just a little bit of insight, spirit, if you will allow. What, like, what does that, like, this storm that I feel, what does, what could it possibly consist of? Now, I do know that this is going to be different for everyone. Ooh, we have dodging bullet here and drama starter. And so I feel like that you're going to have to block out some sort of negative person. There's going to be like blocking negative energy, escaping crazy people. I feel like that there is a crazy ex here looming in the background. They got love on the brain. This person is probably attached to this person financially. So the person that you're going to endure this storm with has someone that is possibly financially codependent on them. That they're, they're possibly running from this person. 
damn. They're probably running from this person. Running from giving money. Well, that's that. Ain't too much needing to be dug in there because we see it ain't nothing peaceful. Let's close this out. Spirit, can you please close this beautiful message out for Sagittarius? Thank you. Well, eight could be significant here. So we have 18, 18 willpower and then 08, 08 swift actions. Willpower. Wow. Significant events are in the cards for you. You will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences. The right people and resources will be put on your path. An excellent proposal or change is coming up. You, um, you're destined for, you're destined for greatness, 1818. And then 0808, swift actions. You will enter a time of expansion. So begin taking steps towards achieving your ultimate objective immediately. Finances will miraculously improve. Oh, and someone has their mind set on you. I wouldn't make this up even if I could. And then we have um, 0330. Here at the bottom of the deck, that says lucky shirt. Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum of individuals. 33, 333, so three threes, support. Seeing the angel number 333 is a sign of, that it is time to focus inward, work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist. Artist doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of comp comp uh, competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. I like it. I definitely feel like that you're going to be receiving some sort of message. A message of, and it's going to let you know that you're going to have to push through some things. This is going to require some resilience. This ain't going to just be some walk in the park, but it is going to energize you. It's not going to drain you. And I think that that's what may make you nervous is that you may feel like that this is another draining situation. But this it, it does appear like whatever this go around is, is that things are actually train, uh, changing and it's not going to drain you this time. This is actually someone that wants to energize you. They want to increase you. But there is a situation that is attached to them that has to be cleaned up. And I do feel like that it has a lot to do with karmic energy. Okay. So I love you, Sagittarius. I hope that you were able to find the guidance that your soul was seeking via this reading. If so, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. Peace, love, and light.